Hi, how are you, Manny? Oh, you're so colorful. <laughs> I love your jacket. Thank Manny, you. Just, oh, wow, you look great. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to have Chinese colors. <laughs> right in my day. Aww, that's what I hope for, Miss Rosalind. <laughs> Congrats on Mulan, Miss Rosalind. It's a fun and entertaining look at a girl who becomes a soldier, who becomes a leader, who becomes a legend. And that's simply empowering. That is the best, most concise version of the description of Mulan. Absolutely. Aww. She becomes a legend. Thank you, that's right. And at one point though, at what point during the pre-production process did you absolutely say, I have to play Hua Li, Mulan's mother? You know, when I, I actually got the role, I, I, I auditioned for it and I really didn't think it was gonna go anywhere for me because I was about to leave the country to do a play in England. And um, when I heard the news that I got it, it was shocking. Um, and, and a dream come true, really, to be part of this, you know, legendary story. I, I think Mulan can make a big difference in the next generation, how, you know, the next generation of young people see themselves. That's right. Now, I heard that you have a daughter with a strong sense of uh, herself, which is awesome, and that you base your performance in Mulan from your own experience as a mom. Is that how you prepared for the role? Yes, it is how I prepared for the role. I, you know, my life was a pre preparation for the role, to be honest, because as a young girl, I played Mulan in um, Chinese dance and Peking opera. And then I had a mom who really, you know, didn't get my big spirit. Let's just put it that way. And so then, of course, I'm blessed with a daughter with a big spirit. And I actually tried to let that spirit fly. Um, I tried to be like um, the dad in uh, Mulan, um, like Tai Lee's character, uh, Tai Ma's character. Uh, so yeah, I, it was, it, it gave me empathy for my mother. Oh, that is great. And I love that you mentioned that uh, you played Mulan before as a younger self. Um, so how do you think this current version of Mulan compares to the ballad of Mulan? I think it's um, the closest version uh, to the ballad of Mulan. Of course, there, there are slight changes, but I think, um, you know, Ife is the Mulan that you would imagine. She's just phenomenal. Have you seen, have you seen it? I mean, she's just... Oh, yeah. I mean, beyond my imagination. And she gets the big moments as well as the small moments. You know, that moment where she's on the horse and she's tearing up after she's been uh, told that she can't, uh, you know, that she's been exiled is just, you know, the fact that she can do both those, it's rare. Yeah, exactly. And I was just going to say that. I think Keith Liu is perfect as Mulan. Did you give her any motherly advice on how to succeed in Hollywood? Oh, gosh. I'm the last person <laughs> to give advice on how to succeed in Hollywood because I still haven't. And I'm just like, I'm barely, you know, I'm like this. I'm treading water. You know, I'm just living and breathing. But I think she's much more capable than I am. Than oh. I am. And I love that you still navigate between theater and film. Like what you said, your role as Itsuko in The Great Wave. Um, is, is it interchangeable to you? Wow, you've done your research. Um, <laughs> I tried. Like, good for you. Uh, you know, it's, I, I look at theater as the thing I need to do to, it's like exercising. I really need to keep it up to keep my mind clear and, you know, my spirit to help feed my spirit. So, I mean, it's, it's all the same. Acting is acting. It's make-believe. And it's such a gift to be able to do both. I, I love it. Oh, now my final question. Mulan is set to open in China this Friday, September 11th. What do you think, why do you think they will enjoy Mulan? Well, I, I think they should, they'll enjoy it because first of all, it has some of their huge, their huge legendary stars in it, Jet Li. Yeah. Is fantastic in it, and um, uh, you know Donnie Yen and Ife, you know. But on top of that, the story is more true to the original folktale, and it's more Chinese. You know, it's more true to the 
Chinese version of it. But, you know, Americans in America, we enjoy it as well because it's, it also gives the nod to uh, the other version that, you know, the animated version. You right. Think, uh, my Joy Luck Club sister. Yeah. Um, doing. Well, even the magical Phoenix, sorta, right? <laughs> well, that's to me, that character, and people are saying, you know, I've heard a lot of, you know, online, you hear a lot of stuff, but to me, that character, um, Gong Li's character is the most, I can't, almost can't talk about her without crying. I've been crying all morning just talking about her scenes with Ife because they're so, um, she is the guide that we all need inside. She gives uh, um, Mulan that fierceness. Yes, the light yeah. and the power. That's yes. right. Exactly. Yes. And without this, I just, I've been winning, wanting to say this, without discounting the power of Mulan, I love that it's the drag that saved the dynasty. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know what? I really did feel like it, you know, it spoke to so many things. It spoke to the boundaries. There are lines there that I thought could really speak to the whole community at large. Aw, uh, you are amazing. Outsider. It's <laughs> You're amazing, Miss Rosalind. Thank you so much. Congrats again. And stay loyal, brave, and true. I'll do my best. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. You're a bright light. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.